Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you all a quick story about something that happened over the past weekend. I went upstate again to Second and Charles, and I was filming some stuff for an upcoming finds episode. I had brought in some stuff to trade, and when I went back up to the counter to claim my credit, I noticed a couple of bins behind the counter full of random stuff. I mean, I couldn't see everything, but I did see an Atari 1010 cassette deck, and that alone really intrigued me. So I asked the guy at the counter what that stuff was, and if it was all going to go out for sale. He said, nope, it's all stuff that's either broken or we have no way to test it. So I'm like, what's going to happen to it all? And he says, it's all going to go to the trash. Now, if you guys have been following my finds episodes, you should know Second and Charles locations have free bins, either outside the building or inside the main lobby, where they give away working items that they just don't have room for or aren't worth all that much. But obviously, they don't give away broken or untested items. So, I don't know, I just didn't want to see the stuff get tossed. It must be the dumpster diver in me. So I flat out asked if I could just take it all. And they said yes. So I got to look through the bins and hot damn, there was a lot of cool stuff in there. They let the security guard know that they were allowing me to take the items and they let me empty the totes of my car and then bring the totes back. There's an absurd amount of stuff here. We've got an entire book of Atari computer games on cart and cassette, Atari computer products, a Model 1 Sega Genesis, an N64 with the jumper pack, a Sega 32X adapter, a friggin' Sega channel adapter, an Atari touch tablet, all kinds of power adapters, cables, and controllers. I mean, my god. I'm gonna take some time over the next few weeks to clean all this up and see if any of it works. And if not, I certainly know people who'd want these for parts. Not only do I want to thank Second and Charles for allowing me to take these items, I also wanted to make this video to say, this is how it should be done. Are you paying attention, GameStop? This is what you do with undesirable items. Give them away. Put out free bins. Allow gamers to take these items. Don't just toss them in the trash. There is always someone out there who'll take a chance with a quote unquote broken game or console to see if they can get it to work. Again, a huge thank you to the Second and Charles in Northern Delaware for giving gamers a chance to save and preserve gaming history instead of immediately attempting to destroy it. This seemingly small act has ensured that I will be coming back again to hunt for more games and film more clips. What a perfect way to kick off the season of giving.